contributes to social economic development of this nation. Most women should be able you know, to contribute to the development of their family. When we are a woman, definitely uh, we are reducing us. We need the family. They can have a healthy family. The, the children will have the opportunity of better education because the woman can give the husband big support for the family. Thank you, Mom. Um, in essence, what um Alaja Mudadi talks about is that we women, it is a known fact that we are the mainstay of any community. Yes. When you build a woman, you have built a nation and you build a reservoir for resources. Am I correct? Yes, yeah, very right. And that the nation can always fall back on. So, Miriam, I think my next question is to you. Yeah, the Islamic point of view on empowerment, what exactly is it? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And the main sources of civilization of Islam are the Quran and the Hadith. The Quran and the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When we look at Quran chapter 62, verse 10, it says this part, when you go for Salat, immediately after Salat, Allah says to you, this part to the land and seek Allah's bounty. How can we seek Allah's bounty? It is true, the nothing old. And not only that, Allah says in Quran chapter 78, verse 9 to 11, Allah says that He has created the time for sleep. That is the night, and they are still the day for livelihood. Which means that one should not stay at home sleeping in the day when they're supposed to go to work. And when you look at Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who was the Muslim model that the person we look at as our leader, his wife Khadija, Ibn Khalid, also worked, and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam even worked on the Adija before they got married. And we have many women in those days that uh, that were recognized, like during the, uh, the time of Umar. At least he gave uh, the coordination of market to a particular woman uh, known as Sufaya uh, Abdullah, who was assigned to take care of women. And when you look at market today, you see that there are many women there. So Islam has a stand for uh, everything, every aspect of life, including the issue of empowerment. So Quran guides the mankind generally, and especially women also. In some communities, women may not be recognized. But Islam recognizes women. Not only that, he, he, he wants us to give them the women the right to acquire knowledge, skills that will be useful for them. And also to life, Allah alayhi wa sallam, as a model to us, also enlighten uh, women generally that they should at least be hardworking, make sure that uh, they have something to live on, not to be idle, amongst others. So we have the same pack up that women should work. Women should have their uh, living, not all the time that the woman should stay at home being fed or waiting for the husband to bring money to feed him or uh, to feed her and the children. So, as Islamically, Quran and Hadith of Rasulullah supported the empowerment of women. Um, um, Dr. Miriam has just said, in essence, explain to us that. The female influence, being hardworking and persevering, provides the bedrock of the family structure and a very successful nation when they are empowered. Hope I am correct. Thank you. I would like you to let our people at home know. Enlighten us on the highlights of past empowerment that has been organized by us. All right, 
Yes, thank you very much. Our well known family is to, uh, promoting education skills and knowledge. Uh, you know, we, that's what we focus on that. Yes, education will give so much support to some women in terms of empowering them educationally. And uh, we also have the large number of the skill acquisition, even then from education, you know, starting a, a new way of life for them. We, in that part, we have done so much on empowerment and uh, to the glory of God, men are being used to, the women are doing, uh, some of those we are trained in calf making. They maybe the camps are surprised that all the thousands of women have survived that have to use, we have to buy from them. Bag making, we have, you know, we thought our women have to make a bag, which has been useful. We have a soft furnishing, you know, when we did the soft furnishing classes, many of them were there at the instructive about it. Soap making, there are so many, so even though they have not been able to get a, enough that number for now, which we are ready, you know, trying as much as possible, teaching them, uh, giving them a more you know, entrepreneurship skill as well, and the marketing, you know, trying to start to you know, market it properly. We have, uh, we have uh, trained uh, many on the uh, soap making, uh, soap um, thread, uh, antiseptic, uh, uh, liquid. Tailoring. We saw them on uh, tailoring. So see, this is we want to call it fashion making. Uh, some have been uh, taught on fashion making. And that's what women have also endured. We try as much as possible to uh, engage some other uh, partners, you know, sell that stakeholders in the training. We have had the support of some state governments in uh, giving the skill, uh, using NDA as well to make sure that, yes. We give proper training, proper skill uh, to our members. Uh, apart from giving them the skill, we also give them some necessary support. We have uh, a go we go on to you know public speaking. We need some empowerment on public speaking. When we are having a program, we don't want to uh, invite men to come and be the master of ceremony. We want to use our women. So communication skills is part of what we are. We have uh, trained our women on in many fields of life. We know that it will be useful. Uh, we are trying to to make some impact and train our women on it. Now, but not only we have NASFAT women empowerment program, but NASFAT as a body, as its own environment. We have, uh, we have an environment, uh, uh, national environment secretary, and the zone, at the zonal level, we have environment secretary at the branches, we have environment secretary. That they are not uh, focusing on total environment. Environment for women, for youth, uh, for men, everybody, you know. And that uh, that environment, uh, the national environment, the life national environment is being uh, uh, attending to environment issue holistically. We look at our uh, young graduates, you know. How will we make them be able to compete successfully when they have to go for employment? You know, all these ones, they run classes for them, you know, on how uh, employment classes, on uh, how they have to uh, go for an interview, you know, some other skills, apart from their uh, certificate qualification, all these ones being handled by the National Board of Employment. But not just women employment, that one is a program of women, and most especially during every women's week, apart from women's week, we have programs, but every Women's Week annually, and we dedicate uh, some periods because we have to have a graduation during Women's Week. Uh, graduation for those women that were trained, uh, where we give them the necessary certificate and support. It's, um, but not only just training them, we also give them entrepreneurship so that they're able to market whatever the skills they have. And just as they are asking for the answer, yes, systemically we want to be engaged. Those women that might not, because these days we are emphasizing proper training, proper upbringing for our children. It is not every woman that should go outside and uh, want to pay job, want to spend. No, we are worried about the problem, social problem we are having in this country. And as far as women said, okay, if you want to have a closer time with your children, can you earn some living right from your own? And that, that is part of why we have requirements at home, they make the cats, we have taught them. Catering is something we have done so much. 
No so they can engage in uh, angel casing, angel casing that is baking cake, now selling, making supplies to other people. I know they supply other people. Event decoration, not like decorations now. I know done by women. It's something that is really selling well, no? And they are able to gain uh, to uh, have some benefit from me. Event decoration is something that uh, not just women uh, we have been able to do for many of our women. In every field we have tried to touch. And uh, uh, I wish uh, National Environment Center will also be able to make. That's when that one has responded to computer training, uh, photography. All these have been added by NASA generator uh, repairs. You know, we have uh, air conditioning. And then when we have the pavement, uh, the stone pavement, you, know, you, you, you want that women who are also so much engaged in, you know, you know these days, there is no scale that a uh, uh, man uh, uh, cries that a woman cannot uh, try better in it. So we, we struggle and make it better uh, than men because we always have that passion that God has given to us. We have uh, that uh, special state that, yes, we do with that and whatever we do, we give uh, excellent uh, and perfect finishing. It's part of the hallmark of women. And that's what we always uh, encourage when we train our women in all the skills uh, we have engaged in. And uh, it's time for my team and that's what has made of their efforts. I hope that that Husband, 
In areas where the husband is not, especially when the husband is not around, unlike waiting for the husband before they could, they could eat. So, uh, at least with this, if women are empowered, there will be reduction in unemployment, the crime rate will be reduced, and also the women will be served uh, reliant. Thank you, Dr. Miriam Akimode. And uh, she's been telling us that skills acquisition and empowerment influences our society positively. Um, are there viewers at all? I'd like you to visualize us, attract some jobs and travel. For your Umra and other activities, please contact Sasan Tours and Travel, located at 10 to 10, CMU Road, Magodo, Lagos. You'll be glad you did. Pay your Zakat and Sadaqa to Nazat, Nazat Agency for Zakat and Sadaqa, located at 8 to 10, CMU Road, Magodo, Lagos. You can all pay your Zakat into the account number displayed on your screen. And your notice as everybody. I'm coming back to you shortly because before we round up. I'd like you to tell us the do you have feedback from this environment as well as the position that has been organized in the past? Yes, very good. Uh, and we are glad that uh, many of our women, especially we know we have a some focus offer for widows that we try to make sure that yes, they engage. We are we dropping feedback, just as I said, some of them have been producing some of the things we are using, and uh, some that had problems with their job, they are able immediately. I know some just lost their job unexpectedly and now continue praying and searching that part. And part of the feedback is that we started with the national effort, but it is so spreading that is every zone and land feel that yes, we need to empower our women because they need to contribute to the economy of this nation. I've been glad and then we also give some of them. It's not only giving just uh, the skills that some that will not even afford the tools to use, you know, uh, for their production. Not as part as a, a body been uh, engaged in giving some of them an economic environment. Uh, we gave from women, you know, just give, uh, supporting them from our donation. And the same thing with uh, NASA that, that uh, we are calling people to now, you know, contribute uh, SACA into NASA because we use to empower so many. So we give uh, the necessary empowerment. The most important thing is empowering the women. And it's just as we always pray, Rabbana Hashino Fidani Hazanatam, Akira Yeti Hazanatam, Hashino Hazabana. Muhammad Salah himself has said that you are not my, you are not the, my two, uh, the sex. When you are asking for the old, only the world, and you are not asking for heaven. And you are not, uh, so, my, my sex, if you are asking just for the air after, and you are not asking for this world. So you are for the goodness of this world and the air after. So we are making sure that the feedback we have is it. With the state acquisition, many of our women are having a, uh, a, new, a new way of life, they can contribute to the education, proper upbringing of their children. And that, that is the future of this country, which is very necessary. And not just women as well, we also have mentoring initiatives. Mentoring our youth is part of our environment. And uh, we just want, many of them want, oh, I want to be like two social. So, and uh, not just is really, we are investing in our future. And even right now, we have the, the feedback we are getting is that that the NASA has now expanded empowerment beyond women and we now have NASA empowerment as a, you know, as a bigger uh, committee itself, which is just uh, telling you how much uh, uh, we are. NASA as a body is contributing to the economic growth of this nation. We are contributing to social economic development. As the reality said, we have been able to make sure that our children are given proper upbringing. We are giving them the chance of uh, uh, having uh, succeeding in when they are competing. And this is the add better edge when they have to compete in this, uh, uh, in many competitions they have to engage in, especially when they have to be employed. The feedback is been uh, We have a data bank of all those that we have changed. Many, many of them are using this.
skills and uh, using it and they are getting an improvement in their life. And another thing we emphasize in that part is that part men, you should be properly engaged, engage your life and we decrease as much as possible. We are we empower our women with self sufficiency, with contentment that all you wear is your your blue and white most of the time. No more as you be invest in your children, invest in future of Islam, invest in future of Nigeria, invest in future of the world. And uh, it's been very, very rewarding. Thank you, Adia Bugadi. Alhamdulillah, we have been able to deal thoroughly with our topic of skills institutional empowerment. I want to thank Alaja Nafisa Aro Bugadi for honoring us with our presence in the studio. And I would also like to thank Dr. Miriam Akibodi for honoring us. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So we'll come your way again to the next exciting edition of NASFAS Half Hour. I am Salba Omobolani Gabriel. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.